Alrighty everyone, we are back here for some more Assassin's Creed Rogue. And uh, we killed our first assassin. And that's kind of a shame because we were actually quite close with this one. I mean it wasn't Liam levels of close but we had kind of a, not really a uh, bad relationship but not really a good one either. Yeah. Anyway, what you got for me, Monroe? Keep your friends close. Ah, Master Cormac. What you have learned from Le Chasseur was confirmed. The local lawbreakers are changing tactics. What's their plan now? The boss has hired Benjamin Franklin to produce new weapons for them. He's very well guarded. Benjamin Franklin? The scientist? You have heard of him. Good. He is making equipment to spread gases among the populace. Toxic ones, as it turns out. The populace? I thought they would use it against the authorities. Though that would be terrible as well. The ruffians we have arrested refer to an intimidating woman. I believe she is behind these nefarious plans. I look into this. Thank you. It's not you. I think it is. It might be something to do with it, mate. I'm afraid. Reach Franklin's house. I didn't have to do that undetected, did I? No? Okay, cool. <laughs> You're not what I meant to do. Exactly, is it? Oh, you're hiding in there, are you? I'll leave it. There you go. Shay! Oh, it is good to see you again. Your friend Hope said you were away. I, I, I was. Uh, sir, I have come to collect the results of your experiments. Oh, well, it's a very good thing then. I just finished fixing the prototype. Here you go. I was preparing to leave for Philadelphia, and then Europe. I was invited to lecture in London. Oh, would you be so kind as to inform Mistress Hope? Of course. God, Hope. What are you doing with these felons? Turning the city against itself. What have you become? Something the matter, Master Cormac? Uh, 
No, no. Yes, just old memories. When I am issued new recruits burdened with regrets, I tell them the surest way to lose them is with gunpowder. You're right, Colonel. All right. This prototype seems very powerful. Use it with care, Master Cormac. Our intelligence says this thing can destroy certain fortifications, as well as injure several enemies at once. There is also a more subtle way to use it. Some of these grenades contain a strong sedative. Fire one into the crowd and they will fall asleep immediately. We should test this new weapon. Use it against that door. Grenade launcher? Okay. Shrapnel one. Use these grenades to destroy that door. Good work. Good work. I think you are ready to turn this new weapon against the ruffians who would have used it. There is an abandoned factory nearby hiding a dangerous poison. Right now it only causes sleep. But I fear those outlaws are distilling it. A more powerful formula could sicken or perhaps even kill most of New York. But not my first target. Be careful, Master Cormac. We understand that the ingredients are highly unstable. All the better. All right. Let's grab. Make sure we've got everything. Right. Okay, what do we need? What's our optimal objectives? Kill three guards with a single grenade. Put ten guards to sleep. with this. Maybe I can break the whole system. You there! Come over here! Alright. 
Let's have a word, Dolt. <laughs> Okay. Must get out, or I'm as good as dead. There you go. Marvelous destruction, Captain. I saw the smoke all the way from the Morrigan. That should discourage those miscreants. New York is safe for now. With all due respect, Colonel, it's going to take more than a few explosions to get rid of this kind of trouble. The boy is right, Colonel Monroe. Shay, was it? Congratulations. You just burned the whole lot of rats out of New York. I'm Jack Weeks. This is William Johnson. I don't know about him, but I'm pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. It is, uh, terribly dusty here. I'm sure Shea can recount his adventures to us over a pint. Hey, the first round's on, uh, the Colonel, huh? <laughs> Something the matter, Master Cormac? Just a little confused. I uh, must have breathed some of that gas. Some ale will do you good. Come, we are all friends. We'll be taken care of. Alright. I looks like we finished the sequence. Probably should have ended the episode after this ep after this mission then. Oh well. What the hell? What's the manuscript? From the Colonel. Dear Master Cormac, my apologies for the brevity of this missive, but it is time we were honest with one another. You have demonstrated your loyalty and resourcefulness to the Templar cause, and this despite and perhaps because of your assassin origins. The manuscript the assassin sought has been in my possession for some time. I reclaimed it when my men found you marooned. The Grand Master himself charged me to discover its meaning, a task I regret I have failed to complete. I leave it in your charge, Master Cormac. There is no one else I trust more. Now I leave for Fort William Henry, an ill-prepared garrison surrounded by hostile natives and the French army. We have requested reinforcements, but I doubt they will be forthcoming. I have no illusions that our resistance will be successful. I commit my life to the British Army and my soul to the Father of Understanding. Yours, Colonel George Monroe. Oh, so he knew. He knew about us being an assassin. Rope dark pouch. Anything else I can craft? Well, apart from them, them themselves. I'll take the will of the Morgan. Morgan, I'm gonna try to upgrade, but I can't because there isn't anything. Oh yeah, well, we're at it. 
while we're at it, might as well do this. So that's going to take about 10 minutes. That's going to take a couple of minutes. Right. Is there any upgrades I can do now? No? Alright. Let's take, take the wheel of the Morgan. Captain Cormac has the wheel! Mind your post, guest. The colonel's in trouble. Right. You mean in trouble? He's at Fort William Henry, facing impossible odds. Get off your lazy asses, lads, and man your stations. We raise anchor. I'm sorry for the early libation, Captain. But do you realize that it's been a whole year since we met? A whole year! Changed my life, you did. And for the better. <laughs> you will uh, forgive me if I have been uh, celebrating without you. A whole year. Yes. I have a question for you. How long have you known of my, well, former allegiance? Oh, you mean the assassins? I knew that ages ago, Shay. I may be drunk, but I'm not blind. Or did you think I would assume you had escaped from some homicidal circus? Why didn't you say anything? Well, the colonel wanted us to avoid the subject so it wouldn't, you know, influence your decision making. You saved my life out of pure selfless instinct and helped countless others besides. If it were up to me, I would have made you an official Templar months ago. Who is it up to then? Monroe mentioned a Grand Master. Oh, yes. The Grand Master of a colonial right. You'd like him, Shay. His father was an assassin. Really? He must have a story to tell. What is the news from Fort William Henry? The garrison is surrounded, and reinforcements are late. General Montcalm has been blazing a path across the colonies for King Louis, hasn't he? I rather wish he'd stayed home with his mistress. His or King Louis's? Either. Though I suspect the king's is finer. Indeed. Madame O'Murphy is supposed to be quite the charmer. And O'Murphy is in the French king's bed. Now I know you're pulling my leg. Don't tell me that was done. Or that's done already. It said new naval missions. All right. Do you know a feature they should do? They should have it so um, that you give the wheel, the, the steering to the first mate. So, example here would be Gist. Yeah, you give it to your first mate that way you actually can do things on the on the ship like go into the, like the naval combat or something like that or upgrade your ship while you're while they're steering for you but it takes a little bit to get there as long as you've done a set of course like I have, that could really work, you know. I'm surprised they don't, to be fair. Right, River Valley. 
Hello? Um, excuse me, I said River Valley. But I guess not. I shall go from here. Probably quicker. Must have actually pressed circle by mistake. Could have sworn I pressed the right button. Oh, too late. Alright. Honor and loyalty. Shay, you are a sight for sore eyes. Jack? Colonel Monroe surrendered to General Moncada. The French and their Abenaki allies took Fort Henry. Johnson was supposed to bring reinforcements here. I don't see anyone else. The Abenaki are restless. They don't understand the terms of surrender and refuse to heed Moncada. The colonel and his men were released this morning. They're walking into an ambush. Wait here in case Johnson arrives. I'll... I'll protect the colonel. Thank you. Maybe... I can finally repay my debt to him. Oh yeah, you owe his life to him, don't you? How many are there? Jesus. There we go. Master Cormac, sir, 
We must hurry. We should bring what's left of your man to the Morgan. A welcome offer, Captain Cormac. Follow me. Safe passage is ahead. All right. If you don't mind me asking, what happened at Fort William Henry? Poor planning and poor luck, I'm afraid. Montcalm was able to bombard us for days. Damn, Rob. Actually, he acted with great honor. As we sent for Parley, he returned an offer far more generous than anticipated. We kept our arms, and more importantly, our colors. Only to walk into a trap. I would hardly expect the French to defend us. Would you? No, I wouldn't. You continue to prove your loyalty to the Templars, my Cormac. Risking your life for me. We're not out of the woods yet, Colonel. As for my loyalty, well, I do owe you, don't I? You saved my life. Gave me a second chance. We have been working together for a year now. During that time, you have rendered many great services. Whatever debt you imagine you have towards me is paid, wouldn't you say? Perhaps. Live! Attack! Take cover! Oh, God. Keep together, men! I'll take out as many as I can. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Didn't realize that was a shrapnel one. <laughs> Thought that was a berserk one. My fault. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'll take out as many as I can. Where's Monroe? There he is. All right, Colonel. Keep your men moving. I'll scout ahead and signal if there's trouble. A sensible strategy. Very well. I will lead my men around slowly. All right. Thank <laughs> you. 
Damn it. Didn't pop up. Not doing so good today. Not seem. Aha! There you go, that should help me get rid of him. I have got a good line on him. I got rid of the actual. Whatever you do, don't let that man flee. Ah! He's getting uh. away. Catch him. Uh. All right. You know this man, Mr. Homer. I, Colonel. He is one of Achilles' men. An assassin, as I was. So they know I am a Templar. And now this assassin knows you live. And work with Templars. I'm no fool, Colonel. The assassins will come after me next. We're both targets now. You know that's a trap, right? Indeed, Master Cormac. 
But we have little choice. We survived French cannons, we will survive this. I'll give you a hand. He's in my sights! I've got a good line on him! Ready to take him down? Ah! There you go. Loose the sails! You heard the captain, men! Let's get out of here! Move! Move! Shay! I owe you my life, Master Cormac. As do I, Colonel. We have much to discuss. However, I must tend to my troops. Sir, I will accompany you to Johnson's trading post at Onokwaga. Then I shall depart at once. Master Cormac, meet me there. Oh, well. My bank is full. Let's stop that from happening. There we are. them off to do that. It will take about 20 minutes. The Duke can go do that. Right. Now how far away is this? right okay it's gonna be kind of a difficult thing to get there but wait what type of camp is that oh it's just a if we go around this way And then immediately go around this way. I believe that's right, yeah? Yeah. Seems to be a convoy around here. Let's take that real quick. Right. That's the rise of tops.
Wait, I am at the right thing, right? Nope. It's down here. Just want this so I can get supplies for the for the ship. It's only why I'm doing it. Turn to the ship. Release the. Go down here. Buy whatever it told me to buy. If it's nothing important, then I won't. Eh. Nah, I'll leave it. For the time being. Right, what I'm going to do is going to stop here for this, so then the, it, I can fast travel to here later. It's the only reason I'm doing it. The only reason I'm doing it is so I can fast travel back here later. So then just land on here. Once that's done, fast travel is unlocked. Good. A trip to Here we are. Right, let's meet with Monroe, I assume. Rowan Jack, armor and sword. All right. So, Colonel, it seems my life has an open book to you. Men from my regiment found you delirious and half drowned. I did not know who you were, but what you were was obvious. I brought you to the Finnegans for care. 
Their late son was one of our order. Master Johnson was furious. It was a risk. But I suspected you might have left your brothers behind. Colonel. Manuscript. Why return it to me? Because, Master Cormac, you earned my trust. It could not be in better hands. Respectfully, sir. I'm more of a target than you now. Gentlemen, Kisigawase is rallying to storm out of His allies threaten a friendly Oneida village, and French troops have already entered our territory. We might be able to delay the French and help the Oneida. We will ready the defenses in Albany. If we are to defeat Kisigawase and his allies, I need to help the Oneida and see what I can do about the French. All right. Don't stockpile powder and shot here. Bless him. to know if Kesegawase has any weaknesses? He hasn't any. He was a scout and mercenary long before he joined the assassins. May Lady Luck be with you then. I make my own luck. The Colonel exerts a certain amount of control over the army, or part of it anyway. But we'll need both the soldiers and their native allies if we're to set up a proper defense against Kesegawase. Segawasa has allies in every tribe that sided with the French, as well as many others. Trappers, hunters, scouts. We'll need all the help we can muster. All right. Help the British. Oh God. I'd rather fight a land war in Asia. The captain is dark. The war is a good thing. We will not make it out of here. We don't have to get any clear. The officers are insane. They want to dead is what they want. I tell you, there you go. Might is unchallenged. This whole continent is ours to take. Our might is unchallenged. This whole continent is ours to take. Such we a victory prepare. requires more. Tonight we drink to the king's health. Right there. Over to the boat. Unfurl, mates. Let's move. Loose capsules, gallants and royals. Blues up, these are sticks, studs out, let's get moving. Loose capsules, gallop! Short, sail, get off the squad. There you go. Reach the native village. Oh, 
Shut up. What's in the cave? You there, stop. So long as we hold the old... You have my gratitude, sir. Make sure you find them all! There you go. There you go. Venerable one. My name is Shay Patrick Hormick. I... I am a friend. A friend indeed. You have the gratitude of my people, Shay Patrick Hormick. For as long as you shall walk this earth, you will have a place here, among us. My thanks. It is I who thank you, young man. Would you be so kind as to walk with me? I am called Onata. There is a legend among my people who tells of how the land under our feet was born and how good and evil came into this world. The Sky Woman scattered her wisdom throughout our land. If you follow her path, you shall learn the true history of our people, and perhaps even uncover the reward locked within this cave. If you are the hero I believe you to be... You honor me, Venerable One. It is you who honor us, Shay Patrick Cormac. Farewell. All right. Some unlockable armor. And we... Pillars, native pillars, okay. Hmm. 
Alright. Get away from this water so I can actually hear myself think. Um... I think that's actually a perfect place to end it. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more Assassin's Creed Rogue. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.